Three-time Super Bowl winner Rob Gronkowski, a big personality, a bigger target during his playing career. He walked away from the game at age 29 earlier this year, a victim, he says, of too much hurt, not enough relief. Football was bringing me down, and I didn't like it. It almost sounded like you were in despair. Yes, you know something? That was kind of part of the recovery right there was that press conference because everyone's like, everyone's thinking, oh, we're always ready to go. Where They're not really sure what we're going through, what we're dealing with. Now, leaner, happier. Now, would you say you are in better shape now than when you were a yes, football player? I would say that, 100%, hands down. In August, he partnered with a company marketing cannabis-based products using CBD, which does not include marijuana's high ingredient, THC. He says it's a much healthier option for chronic pain than prescription drugs, which many allege are overused around the league. Former star Calvin Johnson recently calling it opioid abuse. Is this a product you think NFL players should be able to use and still play? Absolutely. It's a hands down a product all NFL players should be able to use. Still, CBD runs afoul of drug policies in most major sports leagues, including the NFL. The league's chief medical officer says they're not yet ready to make a change. We are absolutely eager to go where the science goes, but we only want to go where the science goes on this issue. We want to find newer and better ways for treating both acute and chronic pain in, in NFL players. CBD's medical benefits, some skeptics say, may be more hype than help. CBD by itself has been shown to be helpful in treating psychosis, anxiety, and epilepsy, but there's no single human trial that show that it's beneficial in treating pain. Critics aside, former pro athletes like Gronkowski, boxer Mike Tyson, and others are embracing weed, betting it's also a lucrative business investment. There's not a game I've played in that I wasn't on. Ex-receiver Percy Harvin recently claimed he played every game of his eight-year NFL career high on marijuana. Better for his anxiety, he says. That's what I want the world to kind of see today is it's not a stigma. I'm going for the... CBD part, and that's what I'm advocating for, and I just truly believe that all athletes should be able to use it, and not just all athletes, anyone out there in the world should be able to use it. Pills versus pot, and a building battle over pain in sports. Ron Mott, NBC News, Miami. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.